Labour, they could face a formal investigation from the Equality and Human Rights Commission over complaints about anti-Semitism in the party. The EHRC, which is asking the party for a response within 14 days, acted after being contacted by the campaign against anti-Semitism. Uh, we can now speak to its chairman, Gideon Salter, who is in Westminster. Gideon, thanks for joining us uh, today. Just tell us a little bit, how early did you get in touch, how long ago did you get in touch with the Equalities and Human Rights Commission? We, we, we actually contacted them in October 2017 during the Labour Party conference where people on fringe events, for example, were asking for permission uh, and saying that the Labour Party ought to be having a debate on the Holocaust, yes or no. And the entire conference was electrified by anti-Semitism to the extent that the Labour leader of the conference, uh, of the council uh, in which the conference was held, Brighton and Hove, actually said that the uh, council would prevent, the Labour council would prevent its own party from using council premises again for Labour conferences. So that was when we first got in touch. Uh, in July 2018, we then uh, referred formally the Labour Party to the Equality and Human Rights Commission. This was after a period of months of trying to engage with the Labour Party, trying to get them to take complaints seriously, which they wouldn't do. And then in November last year, we started sending legal submissions to the Equality and Human Rights Commission. The last one went in on Monday, and that is now what's triggered uh, okay. the pre-enforcement action by the, by the Equality and Human Rights Commission. OK, I just want to make sure we get Labour's statement uh, in and we can talk about it. We completely reject any suggestion the party has acted unlawfully and will be cooperating fully with the EHRC. Labour is fully committed to the support, defence and celebration of the Jewish community and its organisations. They also go on to say, uh, Gideon, that anti-Semitism complaints received since April 2018 relate to 0.1% of their membership, but one anti-Semite in our party is one too many, and they're determined to tackle anti-Semitism and root it out of our party. Given what they said at the end of that statement, Gideon, that it's 0.1% of our membership, they do acknowledge it's one too many. You described the problem as rife during conference. Is 0.1% rife? Yes, because the, the, the problem is not how many anti-Semites the party actually has. What we need to see is we need to see that when there is one anti-Semite or if there are 100 anti-Semites or 10,000 anti-Semites, we need to see that in every case the Labour Party takes firm, clear, fair action immediately to deal with those, those anti-Semites. And by the Labour Party's own admission, in the last 10 months, they've only removed 12 anti-Semites from the party. But we're aware of hundreds of cases. And more than that, we're aware of senior people in Jeremy Corbyn's office and also in the Labour leadership, people who actually have responsibility for overseeing the complaints process, stepping in to ensure that anti-Semites get as, re as, as as light a sentence as possible and actually overturning decisions to suspend people. So this is not a case of how many anti-Semites are in the Labour Party. I mean, it, you know, it, it, whether it's 0.1% or 50%, I would actually argue very strongly with the Labour Party figure. We don't think it's 0.1% at all. We think they're in denial. And we think that their statement is effectively trolling the Jewish community with, by denying that, that the anti-Semitism problem really exists. With that being but, the case, with that being the case, the party does have the option um, of proposing its own reforms to its complaints process after this EHRC letter. Uh, do you think that that is not far enough? Would, would you basically like to see this go to a full inquiry? We, we think it's high time that there was an independent investigation into what's happened in Labour. If you remember in 2016, I sat in this very chair whilst Labour talked about the fact that they were going to get Shami Chakrabarti in, there was going to be an independent internal inquiry, they were going to hire more staff, they were going to tackle cases. Here we are in 2019, they're saying exactly the same things. This time they say it's Lord Falconer instead of Baroness Chakrabarti. They're saying that they're going to finally deal with the problem. They have run out of road. It is now time for the grown-ups to come in and actually deal effectively with this problem. And it is very sad that this is, the pro this is now what needs to happen with the Labour Party, that they are actually being investigated by the very Equality and Human Rights Commission that the Labour Party set up. The Labour Party was once the anti-racist party of British politics. Now it is the home of anti-Semites in British politics. Um, can I just ask, do you... You, would basically, you do link this directly to Jeremy Corbyn's leadership, of course. If he was not Labour leader, it wouldn't go away overnight, would it? Is it is, you don't just want to see Jeremy Corbyn not be the Labour of the leader party, do you? 
We, we certainly think that Jeremy Corbyn is a very large part of the problem. It's with his leadership that this problem has really become so severe and extreme. But you're absolutely right. His uh, acolytes have taken over the levers of control of various different party mechanisms. For example, the whole disciplinary process is now run by people who are openly supportive of Jeremy Corbyn, and many of them actually say that they don't believe allegations of anti-Semitism before they've even heard what they are. So we see that even if Jeremy Corbyn were to step down as Labour leader, there would still have to be a whole process of clearing out many of the people who've come into power with him and who see anti-Semitism as something that they need okay. to do nothing about and, in fact, actively ignore. OK, Gideon Falter, thank you for taking the time to speak to us. Appreciate it.